What's up everybody, Dan here from Headwaters Kayak and I'm out on the Sacramento River today and I wanna share a little story with you guys. Um, very personal, uh, very challenging to even talk about, but it's something that happened to me this summer. We set out for a three day camping trip and I started by making this awesome video about how I pack my kayak, the gear I use, just, it was going to be this epic three-day adventure down the Sacramento River, kind of inspired by my buddy Gatewood Brown and some of the videos he does. And unfortunately, on the first day, about 20 minutes in, one of our paddlers um, drifted into a bridge piling and was pinned in his canoe. Um, we all struggled for about a half hour to unpin him or... Maybe it was only 20 minutes before the sheriff's department got there, but it seemed like forever, especially in this freezing Sacramento River. And at the end of it, we lost a dear friend. And so much of that footage that I took is probably never gonna see the light of day. And I definitely didn't wanna just post how to pack your kayak without some sort of reference of acknowledgement of what happened. Um, I'm not sure exactly how to do this if I'll post this but I just like I said I just felt like I needed to acknowledge it here on the channel because it was one of the hardest things I've ever gone through going through I mean it's only been three months since the incident and it definitely lives with me every day and it changed the way I view kayaking changed the way I viewed being on the water with other people yeah. it was just a crazy unfortunate series of events that uh, that led to him passing away um, anyway I'm gonna go back to the spot where uh, the incident occurred today and just sort of revisit it and uh, go for a little paddle and whatever feelings come up I'm just gonna bring you guys along and share and uh, hope in some ways it's positive Well, that gets the heart rate up quick. You can see the current I'm paddling through. I mean, it's moving, it's not sitting still. I need every bit of this 18 footer to get up the current today. The flows are a little bit more constricted today and really making me work for it. So the Highway 44 bridge, I might try to go up a little past it today, but ultimately that's where I wanted to go. Just sort of remember an old friend and let the river sort of heal because that's really what I came to in all this and therapy and processing is that yes terrible things can happen on the river but it's also a safe place for me a place that's always been a healing healing place um and a place where i belong so trying to get back there just trying to make some peace with the river today so it might be a little loud but i'm at the spot i just wanted to kind of show you guys around and uh just if nothing else bring to light that things can happen anywhere on the river even when you don't expect it so always wearing a life jacket which our friend was um paddling in a group all these things can help just make all these simple things can really save lives you see it's a nice defined eddy line here another defined eddy line there and the idea is that we pull out into this current let the current take us catch the eddy on the other side unfortunately our friend caught the eddy a little low on this side as he came across he eddied out here but it was still in a little bit of moving current and he was looking back upstream towards us we're chilling right here in the eddy and he's celebrating because he just made this move and it looked really good but unfortunately he was just in this water right here that was still gently moving and before he looked over his shoulder he saw that he was drifting right into that pole and unfortunately it was too late and he was just sort of at this like ah you know, one of those classic deals that if you look where you don't want to go, you'll go there. If you look where you want to go, you'll go there. And when he saw it, he just froze out and leaned away, which the number one rule is to always lean in to an obstacle. And when he did that, the current just flipped him over and wrapped his canoe around the pillar. And, you know, we immediately thought like, oh, we've got a swimmer. We got to go get him out. You know, his canoe's pinned. And then we didn't see him come up. And so we were both on it right away within less than 10 seconds uh, but unfortunately 
his legs were pinned, his knees were pinned underneath his canoe, he was in a kneeling canoe, and we were unable to get him unpinned. And it ended up taking two jet boats, the city of Reading and the sheriff department to get his canoe off this. And unfortunately, too much time had passed and we said goodbye to a dear friend that day. And uh, definitely shook us all up, still shakes, shakes me up, especially being back here. I've only been back one time. Um, so to come back here and try to tell this story is really hard, powerful, emotional. And I don't know if it's even productive. I'm not sure. So I just spent, I don't know, 15 minutes peeling out, going over those same lines, having that same experience, kind of just reliving it. It's a mixture of like flow state, familiar familiarity, because this is a place I've been and done so many times, and also just utter grief all mixed up into one. And uh, I just trust that this river is here for me. It supports me. It's been my healing place my whole adult life. So I'm just gonna keep coming back and hope that in time it's a place where I celebrate the memory of a dear friend and not just relive the pain that we had here. I love you guys. Thanks for watching this. I hope some way, somehow it helps you and if nothing else, it helps give you a piece of what I've been up to and why Maybe I've been a little hesitant to uh, to teach or to share. You know, my videos have kind of been a little superficial because I just haven't really been ready to give myself yet. But I think I'm turning that corner and I appreciate all you guys' support. I love every one of you. And uh, until next time, this is Dan wishing you happy paddling. Get out there and stay safe, everybody.